This represents the learning flow from senpai to kohai. If this is a student within the group, and this represents the teacher of that school, the sensei, he of course will teach the student, but every student within the group who is more senior, more experienced than him, will contribute to that student's learning. So it's, it's a group teaching effort, it requires teamwork and cooperation. It, it requires a sensitivity to the student's development, abilities, uh, natural talent, way of learning, way of communicating. Okay, it's like trying to teach someone a language. If you get too nitpicky and you correct every word they say as they're trying to, to speak, I try to learn to speak English, the, the English, no, not, not the English, English, you want to learn English. Yes, I want to learn learning English, not learning, you want to learn, you want to, if you overcorrect, it slows down their learning. If you don't correct, they just continue the same mistakes over and over again and years later will be sloppy. So you have to find this balance point between the accuracy and the fluency, okay? It's like learning music, it's like learning a language. If you overcorrect the student learning to play the piano, it takes them longer to learn to play the piano. If you don't correct, they'll sound sloppy. This student then, as he increases his abilities and knowledge, is then also responsible to help Every kohai, every other student who is more new to the system in their learning. So this represents the flow of learning within a traditional dojo structure. Okay, let's wrap this up. The responsibilities over time within the traditional, the traditional way. From the beginner to a more junior student, senior student to the sensei increases over time because of this teaching and learning structure. Okay? The longer you're within the organization, the style or the group, the more responsibility you have for the, whole. the development of the whole uh, group. Yes? This represents the effort and progress over time, the human tendency, okay? from lower rank to higher rank, that the longer they spend training, the more people become complacent, lazy, uh, want to train less, or maybe not at all, some just quit. Okay, because they already have a black belt. Because they already have a black belt and they, 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 they feel they've now reached a master level and have no reason to continue training. Um, that's, that's not the idea of Budo. Okay, advanced students, they get lazy and stop developing if not pushed um, and taught new material. Okay. Within a good system, the learning should never stop. If at some point the advanced student gets his brown or black belt and can honestly say, I feel like I'm not developing, not coming forward, not learning anything new, uh, this could uh, reflect on that specific teacher or, or group. Yeah. This is the effort and progress over time, the tr traditional way. From day one to the advanced level, the instructor level, or even as we age into our 40s, 50s, 60s, and in some cases we've seen the 70s, the learning never stops. The effort never stops. We always continue to push ourselves in terms of effort, in terms of development, in terms of learning. Okay. So for myself at age 42, I'm trying my best um, to stay in shape for someone who's in, in my 40s. Um, and to continue to learn from more higher ranking sensei. The learning does not stop. How's the time check? 17. 17 minutes? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to edit this down. Okay. Yeah, we'll see, but I didn't want you to oh, okay. interrupt because it's interesting. So. Okay. The closed system represents limited progress. Okay. Within a dojo group, the teaching goes from sensei to students. The students will only know as much as his or her teacher. Okay, Some teachers are actually afraid of the negative influence of allowing their students to do external uh, workshops or seminars. Even worse, some teachers are afraid of the positive influence that the students get from training for a day with, with another perhaps more qualified, perhaps more knowledgeable sensei. Um, 
this long term does not lead to very good development of the group because the students will only learn so much. That's not the way we do it. Okay. Uh, I've recently received uh, friendly thank you emails from other sensei uh, thanking me for sending uh, my students to their seminars. Uh, one of them even wrote he was surprised that I allow my students to train um, with a, a sensei from another organization. This was a non-JKA workshop, but within the same Shotokan style. Um, influenced by masters Kanazawa and Asai, so if you go back a few decades, it's all the same family, the same teaching. But the fact that he's surprised that I allow my students to go there, I don't allow my students to go to the workshops, I encourage it. Uh, it's good for them, okay? So, within the dojo group, of course, they, they will learn from the instructor, but they should learn from other groups. Go to seminars, workshops, learn from high-ranking masters, if possible, from their sensei, sensei, and other sensei. This results in better students in any field, okay? We could be talking about learning breakdancing, music. This will result in increased knowledge within the student group. The turnover, okay? This represents how many people come and go. The turnover of students within a freestyle system, which means it's easy to learn, less structure, less uh, serious instructor, or perhaps a, 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 there is no serious instructor qualifications. From the new members who enter the group, few will stay long term, and many will go within a short time, meaning within months or, or maybe the first one or two years. The group has new students every two years. Okay, if, if I look at the group every two years, I'll see all new faces. Why? Um, in some cases, at least from what I've seen in my experience, uh, it, it sometimes results from instructors who are too young and underqualified. For example, uh, instructors under 25 with less than five years of experience. Within our system, we, we would not take that uh, seriously as a, a real instructor. Okay. The turnover of students within a traditional dojo, it takes time to learn, okay? A minimum of three years to, to get a grasp of the basics. If the system has a clear structure, a serious instructor with serious qualifications, a serious examiner, all belonging to a serious organization, the new members who enter the group, many will stay long-term over years or decades, and a few will always leave over the years. Okay, why is this? It has to do with the type of person teaching. Within our system, the instructors are normally over 30 with more than 10 years of experience. This does make a difference. Okay, that was the last diagram. So, I hope this a little bit cleared up uh, the, the learning structure within our system. Uh, because it's easier for me to post this on YouTube and send the link to new members than have to repeat this uh, dozens of times. Okay, thank you for watching.